I think one of the ways that we see people being inspired is being able to to practically engage all these different ways of working out conservation just on a very particular level. So it, it's one thing to read uh, to read something that inspires you about sort of local sustainable food and, and to have that as an abstract and an ideal, which is good, but if it only remains in the abstract and you don't have the opportunity to kind of work it out, it's not, it's not sufficient. So to see people of all ages being able to come and, and work in the garden and do weeding and, and then know what to do, like come into the kitchen and learn a new recipe, it's practical. And that there's something really just wholesome and, and inspiring in that. tailed white face for obvious reasons. <laughs> it has a white face and it has a dot on the seventh segment of its abdomen. The little yellow dot you see there. The more we know about how each species is related to other species, the better we can be prepared to, to try to take measures to either retain or restore habitat that will, will uh, make it possible for these species to continue to thrive. Each ecosystem is a, is a web of relationships that uh, is very complex and uh, we understand a bit about some of them and we're always learning more about them. Each little piece of the puzzle just helps to give us a little bit better picture of, of what's going on. We have a lot, of, a lot of students come in with some type of a science background, whether that be diploma or degree or graduate degree that are very intelligent and, and really well-meaning and have an enormous amount of, of theoretical knowledge, but may or may not have spent much time in the field. So they're passionate about wild salmon, uh, but they may never have actually uh, done the salmon spawning survey or, or walked a salmon, salmon bed. That can sound really romantic, except when it's like pouring rain like today and it's cold and you're in hip waders that are leaking and you know your feet are going numb. But there's something deeply good about that, about actually doing it, getting your hands in the dirt. It, it builds confidence. It, I think it grows a person's sense of inspiration and confidence to be really engaged in physically embodying it and not just having it exist on a, a textbook page. <laughs>